Greetings, this is Dr. Sandra Cabot. This video is about parasites that infect humans. The liver is an attractive destination for many parasites. The liver is an immunotolerant organ and thus is an easy place for parasites to hide from the immune system. Parasites have a large range in size. Injury to the person infected by parasites can vary from minimal to lethal. Parasites can inhabit the liver or pass through the liver during their normal development and can cause destruction of liver tissue. Parasites in the liver and gut cause significant global disease and death as they can lead to gallbladder disease, liver cirrhosis, liver failure and some types of cancer. I have done four videos on parasites as it's a big subject. Let's look at some types of parasites that infect humans and how you can detect if you are infected. We will also discuss how you can effectively treat parasites before they destroy your health. Let's start with multicellular complex organism parasites. Basically, they're the larger parasites that infect humans. Larger parasites can inhabit or transit the bile ducts and the portal blood vessels which bring blood from the intestines to the liver. Liver flukes. Liver flukes inhabit the bile ducts. Liver flukes are called trematodes and are flatworms. They cause significant global disease and death as they can lead to liver fibrosis, cirrhosis, cancer of the bile ducts and diseases of the gallbladder and bile ducts. Liver flukes have quite exotic names such as Clonorchus, Opisthorchus and Fasciola. Adult liver flukes settle in the small bile ducts and if untreated they can live there for 20 to 30 years. The long-lived liver flukes cause chronic inflammation of the bile ducts, so the ducts become deformed and scarred. Most patients are unaware they are infected by flukes, as most have no symptoms. Patients with heavy fluke infection suffer from fatigue and various abdominal complaints. Symptoms can include weight loss, indigestion, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Complications from liver fluke infestation can occur and include gallstones, recurrent infections in the bile ducts and cancer of the bile ducts. Liver fluke infections have been on the rise with an increase in incidence and geographical distribution, possibly due to aquatic food becoming more popular with global consumers. Millions of people are infected with liver flukes throughout the world. Human infection mainly occurs in rural areas with sheep and cattle husbandry. The animal's faeces contain eggs that hatch and infect water snails. After maturation, larvae are released into the water and attached to aquatic plants. After ingestion of these plants by humans, the larva reach the small intestine, penetrate the intestinal wall and migrate to the bile ducts, where they mature and produce eggs. Human infections are caused by eating undercooked water plants, such as watercress, 
Plants that need frequent irrigation and are fertilised with animal excreta and by contaminated drinking water. Infections can also come from eating freshwater fish that is raw or undercooked, crabs and crayfish from parts of Asia and Europe. Diagnosis of liver flukes. The infection is diagnosed by testing the faeces. This is also known as a stool test. The diagnosis is confirmed if liver fluke eggs are seen in the faeces sample. Ova and parasite, known as O&P, stool examinations, for liver fluke eggs is the only available way to diagnose liver fluke infection. Often more than one stool sample may be needed to identify the eggs. Technology for detecting parasites has improved dramatically since 2013. The PCR test looks for genetic fingerprint of a wide range of parasites in the faeces. Experts highly recommend that you have both types of tests done for such a serious infection that is easily cured. Treatment of liver flukes. The good news is that it is possible to eradicate liver flukes completely. A fluke infection will usually be treated with a drug called triclobendazole. It is given orally, usually in one or two doses, and most people respond very well to this treatment. Another drug called nitoxinide is sometimes used instead of triclobendazole. Triclobendazole is the best drug choice to eradicate liver fluke infection and is safe and well tolerated and very effective. Liver fluke disease is curable and, if treated, does not usually cause long-term complications. In cases of a biliary duct obstruction, an ERC procedure can be done to extract the flukes and unblock the bile ducts. In summary, almost all parasites count as food and waterborne diseases. Therefore, long-term control requires an integrated approach combining early diagnosis by educating doctors, individual treatment, public health measures, food chain, safety and animal health interventions for diseases with animal reservoirs. Although parasites cause a significant global burden of disease, treatment can be very effective. Vaccines are not expected to be available soon. Awareness, prevention and early recognition and treatment are the keys to success. Some final tips. Wash your hands thoroughly with hot soapy water as this kills most germs, including parasites. This is so important after handling animals and soil and before handling or eating food. Boil your drinking water. If you have persistent symptoms of irritable bowel or unexplained symptoms of poor health, have your faeces checked for parasites. You may get a surprise. Well, I hope you've enjoyed listening to this video. And if you have, please click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, Email us from liverdoctor.com. We love to get your emails. And thanks for listening.